What's going on everybody? Welcome back today. We're gonna be talking about using Undying with another team with them to just demolish Darkhold and especially Dormhold teams in war. Dormhold is a annoying war team to fight on defense. Not really a war team, but very annoying on defense. Darkhold kind of like just one of those meta teams, but Dormammu also lets them kind of revive and makes things very complicated. And We've basically built a team that can just absolutely demolish them, take those revive mechanics, and just do away with them. And a big shout out to a person in my alliance cluster, codenamed Duchess, who came up with the team that we're going to be showing in today's video against Dormhold. And we're doing a 400k punch up with that team against Dormhold. So we're going to break that all down in today's video. So if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure that like button, share, and subscribe. And yeah, this is just, uh, this is just footage of, uh, of Undying, just two people on Undying just destroying this Darkhold team. It's it's kind of crazy. And this is about a 300k punch up. And I've seen almost a 500k punch up from Tadano Mac. But knowing Tadano, I mean, he's also got like tier 16, 7 yellow, 5 red on Zombie Iron Man, I bet. So, you know, <laughs> when you have those kinds of stars on Zombie Iron Man, you're gonna you're gonna be doing that kind of stuff, no problem. But yeah, if you're if you're fighting against a Darkhold team. Even at two yellow, tier 14, which is the footage I'm going to show with, with Dormhold, not a problem at all. This is, this team is just absolutely bonkers. So, you know, just kind of showing uh, two person on dying team, just beating up on, uh, beating up a poor little Darkhold here. But, you know, we're going to kind of talk about who I'm using inside of the, uh, who I'm using for this team that's beating Dormhold. So obviously we have Iron Man Zombie. You can see this is where my zombie Iron Man is at. Uh, Zim, as I, some people like to say. Zim or zombie, anything like that. I do have two T4s on him. His passive T4 is huge because enemies with bleed take additional 25% damage on more offense. And then his special applies trauma to the target for two turns. And he gains safeguard for two turns. This is huge. Very, very important. Those are just two best T4s. Another one I'm keeping my eye on is going to be the ultimate T4 here, Corrupted Unibeam, because this is going to be part important for fighting Gamma as well. If Hela is an ally on war offense, clear all charge from the primary target and the enemy with the highest resistance. So, you know, this is, uh, this is going to be pretty big for fighting Gamma because this allows you to kind of strip charge from Red Hulk and She-Hulk and, you know, kind of keep those two under control and let, uh, let you go through some other characters. We're going to break that, again, we're going to break down Gamma in a separate video when we get to that. So, besides... Those two characters, besides so Hela and Zombie Iron Man, who else am I using? Well, I'm using Underworld in a way. And what I'm using is Under Underworld is kind of built already to kind of ca to counter the uh the Dark Hole teams. And I am saving that footage and that strategy for when Mr. Negative goes live. But um what I do want to kind of show is that we're using Green Goblin and Mr. Negative right now inside this Dormhold team or not Dormhold, uh, the Undying. That's four characters. We'll talk about the fifth character here in a minute. Mr. Negative, I have him because I need the trauma and the ability block on this special. And that's very, very important when fighting Dormhold because this allows you to both mind control Morgan and Wong at, or sorry, ability block Wong and Morgan at the start of the fight. Very, very important. And, uh, you know, that's that's really what he's there for, is to get the trauma and ability block. Green Goblin is here because of his passive, which gets defense down on the enemy team. Because they're all they're all uh Yeah, like right uh let's see, yeah, stripping positive effects from two at random enemies. 350% bonus focus for this if Mr. Negative is an ally, that's huge. Apply defense down for two turns to all mystic enemies, which cannot be resisted if Mr. Negative is an ally. This is why Mr. Negative is very important, because not only is he getting the ability block, but he's also causing Green Goblin to go on steroids and just really strip the buffs, apply defense down to that Dormhold team, but also his Burning Rage because we're going to get Dormammu into stealth early. We're going to use this special to basically kill Dormammu. Now, the fifth member I'm using is none other than Loki. And Loki is pretty much... So, and I'll talk about it a bit, a bit more in the footage. Loki, number one, his passive is huge. And this is where another passive T4 would be helpful if I had it. Because this this applies minus 30% resistance to all enemies, which is huge. Darkhold, by nature, has a huge boost in resistance because of Morgan's passive. So, you have the defense down, and then you have this minus 30% resistance right here from this. 
it, it's it's kind of helping bringing things back in your favor and this is what this is part of what's allowing this huge punch up against stormhold is this passive and the reduction in the enemy resistance but also filling speed bar mystic controller allies by 10 percent both mr negative and hella mystic controller characters this allows them to go before before morgan gets a chance and that's going to be huge um yeah that that's really that's really one of the biggest things and then also mind control i did this t4 because i'm going to mind control targets to attack dormammu that helps him drop low on stealth and that allows me to follow up with green goblin so that's what i'm using undying plus mr negative green goblin and loki and that is that is the team here so let's go back to the footage they were still showing it here uh yeah, so here's here's the fight right here. 400k punch up right now. You can see it's, it's a tier 16. I have no tier 16 on my team whatsoever. I have a tier 12 Loki, tier 14 Zim, tier 15 both uh, Mr. Negative, or sorry, tier 15 on Hella, Green Goblin, and Mr. Negative. That's that's pretty much my team here. And what I'm what I need to do is I need to get ability block on Morgan right away with Zombie Iron Man. And that's not going to be an issue. I have Striker on Zim, but he gets so much bonus focus with his special. You don't need Skirmisher. And when you're fighting against, uh, I know Mobile Gamer did a video talking about Darkhold. What I found is that Loki allows me to not have to worry about Skirmisher. Because he was having trouble applying negative effects with Zim against Darkhold. But because Loki is here and reducing the enemy resistance, that Skirmisher is no longer needed for my Zim. So, yeah, there we go. Yeah, we're pretty much, yeah, we're going to pretty much cause the enemy team to kill Agatha Force. Agatha is kind of the most annoying person on this team, and that's what we're going for. So, yeah, let's, okay, so ability block on Morgan, and then we're going to explode with the zombie on Agatha, so we get rid of her revive once here. There you go, revive once gone on her, she gets, uh, she's got a bunch of bleeds. Morgan, uh, Morgan's doing some solid damage here. We're going to spread ability block. There you go. Doctor Strange destroys Agatha. And now we're going to get ability block from Mr. Negative onto Wong. There you go. Because what, what happens is if Wong taunts, it's really, really difficult. Because now we need to get rid of Dormammu. There you go. Boom. Dormammu is low on health. And now we have Green Goblin ready to use his special. And because Dormammu is in stealth, well, rip. Well, actually, yeah, this is this is also important too. Yeah, Dormammu does get to go before, uh, does go after Wong. So if Wong Tane, it wouldn't be a problem because he's still in stealth. But there you go. We have Dormammu, we have Agatha both gone, and now we're kind of just cleaning things up here. So now we're gonna start exploding. We're gonna get rid of revive once on characters. We're gonna reduce speed bar. Also, another thing too with Mister Negative, his minions, their basics reduce speed bar on mystic enemies by ten percent, and when they die, they reduce speed bar. On enemy characters by 20%. So, you know, Mr. Negative, Mr. Negative is very, very important here. There you go, gets that taunt on Wong. And you can also notice that we haven't uh we haven't had um we haven't had Morgan use any of her special abilities yet because of that ability block. So now we're finally getting to her abilities here. So yeah, that a two-turn ability block was huge. But also I do want to mention I have skirmisher on Hella solely for this right here this is why i've got skirmisher on her she's got plenty of bonus focus on her abilities but i need a reliable vulnerable and dispel and we don't get dispel with zombie iron man we don't get any dispels with hella naturally this is why i'm running skirmisher on her because it allows me to dispel the taunt on wong there like that was that was huge because now i can just go after morgan so yeah, here you go she's got the vulnerable on her already boom done there you go. Gonna start getting some hits on people. Loki's still alive, but not for long. Now we start working on uh, on Morgan. Get those bleeds on her, so she's gonna mind control. Boom. Mr. Negative's gone, but the damage has been done at this point. Yeah, I. This is uh, this is the beautiful thing, man. I love it. We're gonna explode on whoever. It, it doesn't really matter right now. Yeah, cause uh, yeah, cause and they've got immunity on them, and we can't really strip it. I should, I sh what I should have done there was try to uh, strip the immunity from Morgan, and I didn't. I could have done that, but yeah, it's not a big deal. We got the taunt now on the zombies. We can get some bleeds going. 
There you go. And now we're going to finish off Wong with Green Goblin. And boom, getting some bleeds on Morgan. Another another ultimate from from Morgan here, but not a big deal. Get some more bleeds, get some uh, get some get some trauma and ability block on Morgan and we're done. We're pretty much done. Yeah, this uh it took a while to get the strategy figured out when Duchess messaged me about this. He was still struggling. So I did help him kind of get this, uh, kind of get this strategy all figured out. And there you go. 400k punch up against Dormhold with an Underworld and Undyne mix. Now, the, the one drawback for this is that we are having to use Mr. Negative. Mr. Negative is very important for this fight. And I would love to know when his event is coming and what we need to do to unlock him. Because this is huge, man. Like, Mr. Negative plus, like, Undyne is going to do some crazy stuff. And we're going to be using a similar mix, a uh, similar squad for the Gamma fight as well. We'll be breaking that down in a future video as well. And maybe we'll be showing uh, Undyne versus Underworld and how to make that work as well. So we're going to break that all down in future videos. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure that like button and subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you guys think down below. Is this something you're going to try to work towards once you get Mr. Negative? What do you guys think? As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that like button, share, and subscribe. I will see you guys next time.